start the third session now. So can I get a quick rundown from everybody uh, who you are and who you're playing today? Uh, yes, I'm going to be playing uh, Håkon Sigbrigsson, a pirate thief from the northern Wiscan Isles. Um, I'm Ed, I'm playing uh, Kalamanos, uh, a seer from the capital of Arkontos. Um, I'm here to find forbidden knowledge. I have with me a retainer, Delga. And I'm Patrick, and I'm playing Maximus Valorius, which is a Spafari soldier scout, aka a thief, with a um, greatsword sized dagger for backstabs. We have two thieves, a seer, and a wizard apprentice torchbearer today. Yeah, I assume that Delga is happy to continue with us, and he's not decided that he's had enough. Oh yeah, uh, he got he got paid square. Um, didn't didn't fail a morale test, so yeah, don't see why he wouldn't be for this time. You didn't, well... uh, you know, betray him, <laughs> and he liked your valor uh, of trying to rescue a prisoner because maybe it could be, uh, you know. Maybe it's a leap to a jump to conclusions, but he leaps that perhaps if he was ever captured in prison, that you would fight with such tenacity to get him back. Uh, is perhaps maybe why he's still here. Yeah, I I don't know if I would, but maybe some of my yeah. companions would. Yeah, it could be misplaced. I wouldn't tell him that. Yeah, I uh, it to, he he technically didn't get paid uh, fair, considering none of us got paid for <laughs> our last session. You did learn a lot of good lessons, and you're you're all are smart. You'll stick around for a little bit. How about this? Um, he does need to get paid today, so if you don't come back with some money, it might be a problem. Okay, so, fair enough. Little, a small little fire. Okay. So today is the third of Deuterios. It is Taz Day. The weather is clear. Um, however, it's been raining for the last two days, so it's still kind of like muggy and damp. You know, pretty classic. Uh, but otherwise clear today. Um, are we, so we're leaving from the uh, broken head? Uh, yeah, Calamanos would prefer to explore from the, from the, from the broken head. Um, I, did, I did want to ask um, maybe Estelle a couple of questions. So is that possible before we yeah. head out? Uh, so one thing I wanted to ask her was um, if she'd heard of the... Of the of of Dalton, if she knew knew anyone by the name of Dalton, because that was obviously the graffiti that we noticed on the pavilion last time. Yeah. Um, let's see. So, if you do, they know a Dalton. Uh, yeah. I think they'll mention that uh, Dalton uh, is a ostentatious. Uh, rapier using uh, you know ha head head adventurer kind of like yourself. Um, okay. Apparently, yeah, they've been they have a little bit of a they came back with a you know a decent haul or two. Uh, they have the the proof is in the pudding. Uh, his group's called Dart uh, Dalton's Darlings. Dalton's Darlings, okay. Yeah. And uh, is 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 he around at the moment? Is he back? Have they seen him lately? Uh, no, they have not been back. Uh, and then the other thing I want to, want to ask, um, I want to say, um, it seems you were having a bit of a joke with me uh, last time, uh, Estelle. You were sort of mucking your old pal Calamanos around. Um, you told me the, uh, the halflings, uh, the Plumform gang, were nothing to be uh, concerned about. And they were friends of yours, but uh, we, we had quite the opposite experience, actually. Well, oh, no way. Oh, Oh well, well, uh, we we encountered them down on the, on the uh, in the dungeon, and uh, they they demanded uh, demanded a share of our treasure. Oh. Shocking, ex extortionist! I'm surprised that you would uh, consort with such uh, such types. Well, or were you having a little joke? Or were you having a little joke, with me, Estelle? Yeah, was that it? <laughs> well, uh, chalk it up for uh, being a newbie here. Uh, we like to have fun. Uh, oh, yeah. fun at yeah, fun please, at your so own. Please power. forgive me. Yeah. Fun at an old man, Estelle. You should be you should be ashamed of yourself. Uh, old men, young men, wise soldiers, fools, 
you know, then the dungeon, it doesn't matter or not. Uh, so we take our jokes while we can. Mm -hmm. So if anything, you should you know, treat it as a compliment. Now you, uh, those are hard lessons. You still have your life. Most lessons uh, end up someone losing a limb or worse. So. That's true. That's true. It's a shame there's no other ways into the dungeon. It seems like the, yeah. it seems like the plum forms have got the, got that operation locked down. Ah, uh, yeah, I would know nothing about that. They go back to polishing glasses. <laughs> uh, Fair with enough. a wry smile saying, uh, you'll never, I won't tell you about other ones. Okay. I'll try again at some point. Okay, fair enough. Um, are you thirsty? Uh, uh, Calamanos is a little bit thirsty. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, if you're thirsty out in the ruins, ah, where would you go? Yes. Oh, there's another customer, and like she's gonna leave you with a little rhetorical question there. Oh. So just giving you a slight little hint. Infer with from that as you will. Interesting. Are you thirsty? Hmm. <clears throat> let's have a look at this. Uh, let's have a look at this map. Yeah. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. There's a lake on the map, and a river. Yes. This might be another one of Estelle's jokes, so. though. Yeah, <laughs> she's already fooled me once. She has a little bit of, uh, I mean, you know, Lucy and peanuts. We'll put the. I, I promise I'll hold the football this time. There's a waterfall that leads down, and it seems like it's probably kill you if you try to jump down. Oh yeah. So that might be what she's referring to. Could be. The long house, obelisk. So there's a couple of places on this map that say interesting, like an interesting, well-preserved longhouse. Yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you guys say we, yeah. we go we for the interesting place? Uh, we did. With the, we inter we uh, investigated the interesting tower last session. Okay. Um, but we could not find a way in. Uh, it was locked <laughs> against us. I mean, we could um, go back with climbing gear. Oh, we did try to climb. We did try to climb. Just, Hawkon tried to climb in, and um, I, w w were you nearly struck by lightning, Hawkon? I can't yes, I, I was nearly smote by Thor. By lightning, from the sky or from the tower? Uh, from the sky. Maybe we could bring, you know, like a metal rod, like a lightning rod. Ooh, that's a good idea. Do you have a such a thing? I have a huge sword. Okay, that makes sense. Well, if we want to poke about in that tower again, um, I wouldn't mind going via the ruined plaza because um, I still have this marble arm that we recovered last time. And I think the party agreed previously that we would return it to where we found it, the, uh, the ghoul basement. I mean, there are no ghouls there now, hopefully, but uh, I'd like to bury it back where we found it and hide it. If that's possible. If we can make a detour there, and then I'm happy to go wherever anyone else would like to go. A good idea. Uh, yes, yes. Okay. All right, so we go to the ruined plaza along the river. Uh, okay. The plan. okay. Yeah. Great. Yeah, maybe we could follow the river to see if, we, see if there's anything interesting. Yeah, yeah, of course. Maybe sneak a peek at the ruined citadel. Mm, yeah, we could maybe, just, yeah, have a look at, look at that maybe, actually. Yeah. You're having a gander at the ruined citadel. There is a bridge that, um, on that side, if you follow the river, that does connect to the ruined citadel. Effectively, Arden, um, Ardenvul's old, um, you know, fortified keep. Right. Um, you do hear a, a loud roar, uh, coming from a little bit past the bridge. So not on the, not in the citadel itself, but you know, um, down the way a little bit. Uh, you all are no strangers. Uh, to various types of roars. It's an animal, not like a dragon or anything like that. Uh, probably um, ursine in nature. Okay. You hear uh, bone crunches and scrapes and things uh, coming from that roar uh, location. So if you're continuing towards the plaza or the Temple of Thoth, um, you might want to look out. Right, okay, so in that direction. Fair enough. Um, is, this, is the bridge across to the ruins, is though, uh, if we pass it, does it look like it's 
intact? Does it look like it's yeah. coming up? Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, it looks okay. And and the river itself is... Um, You're... Is it fast flowing? Is it? Could we? Could, could you swim across it, or is it? No, uh, it's dangerous? called the Swift. It's called the Swift River, and uh, it is a mighty flow. Uh, swimming across this would not be advised. The only place that seems to be um, more stable are uh, there's this off channel towards the Ruin Plaza and Ruin Palace, where like the water is gent more more gentle. Uh, ostensibly connecting to with the old um, harbor or so of the on the river uh, towards the city. Uh, that's that's that part of the river is still relative. You know, its placidity is okay compared to the other parts. So yeah, you don't want to really want to fall into this river. Uh, okay. Plus, it's still it's it's very smelly. Um, it's all sort of uh, brackish or not, not brackish, but like muddy and and just full of. Uh, you know, you can't see the bottom, and it's it's just fast moving. It's whatever's in there. Uh, the occasional uh, fin of a fish will come up. That's you know, <laughs> maybe too big. Uh, or you know, at least not what you were expecting. Uh, I can't remember when we were in the first in the first session when we were coming up from the stairs. Did we get a Did we get a look at that lake? I mean, is it a lake or is it really a, a swamp, swampy region? Um, or did we not really get a good look at it? I can't remember. I don't think you got a, a great look at it. Uh, I would call it a lake, uh, or it's it's a flooded lake is really what I, you would call it, where uh, it's once its banks have been overflowing, uh, creating um, you know a, a classic sort of like floodplain swamp, um, more area towards the west, uh, towards the the layer of the of the uh, green dragon, uh, Crastinoratrix, or okay. Uh, we know we know about that. We know yeah. about the green dragon. Oh, I, mean, I know, know Plumfall mentioned the dragon by name last time. Yeah, everybody knows um, Crasty. Everyone knows Crasty. Mm -hmm. Is the basement? Is the ba this Ursine Raw? Is the basement the Ghoul basement? Is that between? Is it between us and that basement? Would we have yeah. to detour to avoid the bear? Yeah, you could detour. Oh. You know, you could take the um, the, like ostensibly. Okay. Yeah, you could uh, kind of see where the bear is and then take it easy, take a round way around. Um, I would like to do that if that's okay with the, with the rest of the party. <clears throat> There's so no again, XP for killing monsters, is there? No, there is. It's just minimum. It's like OSC. Um, yeah, let's sneak around then. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Uh, so... Uh, the path to sneak around will take you, um, you know, on the north side of the Temple of Thoth, kind of like around towards, and you're going to thread back between the Temple of Thoth and this string tower towards the plaza and the lake, right? So you're saying, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. going to mess yeah. with this beer. That sound good to you, uh, Hawken? Yes. Awesome. All right. We're in accord. Yeah, so it was. Uh, you take the long way around. Um, yeah, you're... No, no other issues. There's no like baboons, uh, you know, camping the uh, the top of the Temple of Thoth th today. Uh, instead, it's a relatively uh, empty day. The you know, the temple just kind of sits there as a grim. You know, it, it's one of the few between that and the tower. It's like really one some of the few bits of architecture that seems to remain in this otherwise like leveled city. Um, imagine again, like a like a concussive blast or like a like a huge sweeping. Um, motion from the river uh, towards the east that sort of just knocked everything down uh, like a concussive blast uh, that sort of gives the effect of all the, the ruins um, the old legends say this, the, city, the city was attacked by dragons which doesn't make no sense but so it is So if we can skirt around to the the ghoul basement, um, yeah, if that's possible. If I get into any any trouble, yeah, you may. Uh, no, no trouble at all. It's it's really quiet and relatively calm. Um, yeah. you, yeah, I think you can double. Uh, it takes you maybe a a turn or two to to try to find it, but it doesn't take. You know, there's nothing, um, pressing you for time or anything of the like at the at the moment. Yeah, you can find right. the basement. And it's been a day or so. We don't really notice any any changes. I mean, I might uh, 
I might toss a, a rock down that stairwell first to see if anything is moving around down there. But uh, if not, I want to go down into the basement, put the arm back where he, where he found it, put rocks on it, come yeah. back to the surface, and then and then try and cover it up as best the entrance as best we can because it was covered it was covered wasn't it the entrance by by rubble yeah. before so we can spend uh, some time yeah. just doing that. I think a small clutch of snakes probably like hisses and and skitters into the dark recesses rather than putting up a fight with you uh down here see, uh, but other than that there's no other uh occupants oh uh, snakes yeah we it's must a trio be blessed of, yeah it must <laughs> be blessed of, uh, i watch it yeah exactly my god like black asps you know uh, I think, I think, waters the ghoul bodies are still here just on the stair oh yeah uh, as Rough part of the here. uh yeah they no, nothing has eaten them or anything like that. Nothing wants anything. Right. To do well, with I think them. I think we should leave them where they are because hopefully the stench will put off anyone curious. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah the the bodies of the ghouls, um, while they be ostensibly are decomposing, they don't leak anything or there's no fluid in them or anything like that. But they just there's reek of something off about them. Whether it's a disease or a curse, you don't want to know. It depends on what, how scientific your mind is, I suppose, or how religious it is, and which side wins. Point being is it's you probably don't want that fate, <laughs> regardless. Did we, did we get a sense of, of these ghouls? Do they look like they were former adventurers? Do they look like... No. They were... Um, you have no sense of them? They were completely naked. Oh, they were completely naked. Okay. Yeah. So if they were old, that's because of their stuff wore off. Uh, maybe they went for a swim and they came back. Maybe they were a bit with some, you know, who knows? Um, okay. Their, yeah, their curse um, kept them profanely preserved. Do these ghouls have some sort of paralyzing um, things on their fingers? Oh, yes. yes. So oh, yes, maybe do. cut a claw off and, you know, repurpose it? Is there still some paralyzing... Um, I don't think you yes, have do. If you wanted to cut off them, like the hands, and carry the hands, uh, let's say uh, a sack of hands or whatever takes a slot. Uh, but no, I don't think you would require, A, the knowledge how to do that, and B, you would, it would require um, some sort of distillate, you know, distillation process to, to get the venom. Uh, I was thinking cool. just cutting them off and then, like, using them. For, uh, you know, for one scratch should, with him. Should yeah. be good enough for one scratch, you know. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, a sack. A sack can carry four hands. Yeah. Yeah. Or a slot. I have. Sorry. A slot can carry four. Uh, there are six hands total. I'm trying to remember three times two. My brain is not great today. Um. Does someone want a torch? Or does someone have a free slot? Um, I have a free slot, but I'm, I'm, I'm disinclined to carry around um, ghoul hands, having seen them okay, in, in action. Okay, yeah, here, take but, my torch. I'll take the torch. I have a slot for a torch, yeah. And um, I'll take out my greatsword. It's usually reserved for backstabbing. It's, like, ornamented with, like, it's sort of shaped like a cobra um, and a huge sort of cobra teeth. Yeah. And I used it to chop off four of the hands and put them in a sack. Nice. And while he's doing that, I will conceal the marble arm and then... Yeah. And was there... There was nothing else of note in this ruined plaza? Uh, I wouldn't say that. I would say there's still plenty of ruins to explore. Um, last time you just found two in the rain um, that were kind of worth mentioning. But, you know, you could look around and possibly, uh, aka, I will roll to determine whether or not you find uh, additional uh, notable sites or your time was wasted. Uh, but I think, uh, as a, I will say, uh, Hawken, as you're kind of keeping watch as the other two are, um, you know, putting the, the arm back in the basement and, and the like, uh, you, you are spotting some baboons who are curiously watching you, but then they seem to kind of like disappear out into the ruins um, and kind of appear elsewhere. Like, you're not you're not sure how this pack's moving around. Um, like you're losing sight mm. of them despite being a expert tracker. Mm. Right? They will, you know, they disappear into some ruins, 
uh, and you're waiting for them to come out somewhere. Uh, and then the next thing you know, they come out like behind you or something like that, you know, or, or like in a different far off way. You're like, I, those runes don't connect. They must be using tunnels, right? There must be some tunnels around here. How many, how, many, how many baboons are there? Uh, you counted at least five. But, okay. you know, they do, like, they do kind of look alike. <laughs> and, uh, you know, yeah, you're, so they're, they're, you, don't, you don't know if, you're, if it's the same one moving fast. You know, is, is it the same three uh, moving fast? Or is it just you know, whether they're doing this intentionally or not? Yeah, let's let's yeah. take a look around. Let's explore the ruins a bit to see if we find any tunnels or anything. Yeah, if we could find another way into this dungeon, it yeah, would be exactly. very, very useful. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you can look around there. Um, I'd also like to point out that uh, there are these Ozymandias feet on a statue uh, in this ruined plaza that's sort of adjutting the bridge towards the palace. That is a, of some interest that we, we kind of looked at yesterday. Uh, we could look at some more. Um, but uh, I think we're looking for treasure, though, right? Not not history. Yeah, Delga keeps making sort of like I need to be paid. <laughs> yeah, that's time is money. It's, it's me. Yep. Okay. Uh, so you want to press towards the baboons, right? And see what's going on. Yeah, if we can, without necessarily attacking them. But yeah. Yeah, you, you do your best to not antagonize them. Yeah, okay. The the baboons are looking at you uh, as you press forward. Uh, you can see that they dart into some, yeah, would be probably like holes in the ground, old, uh, you know, from, from various ruins, perhaps uh, broken cellars and the like. Uh, they, they clearly are, uh, they don't want to fight you. Uh, so they're kind of like giving back their ground to you every time they move. Right, so you you approach, and they're continuing to keep sort of like this far distance as what, as much. Uh, when you hear the uh, your when you get too close to them, um, you know they will they will give out some threatening barks and then retreat down into their their cellars rather than fight. Did you want to try and go down into the cellars after them? I, mean, I don't know if Cal I don't know if Calamandos wants to <laughs> necessarily yeah. clamber down into a cellar full of baboons, but <laughs> if, the, if, the, if the rest of you do, then he will he will back you up. Hi, I'm back. Sorry, I uh, my internet just cut out for about a minute. Oh, you're grand. Uh, we were talking about uh, the three of you pressing together towards or four with um, uh, our follower. Uh, pressing towards the baboons. The baboons, um, while not liking you encroaching them, they're not looking to fight. They're falling back um, more and more into the ruins until eventually they, the five of them kind of disappear uh, into the, the rubble and the like, uh, rather than deal with you uh, directly. So do you want to go kind of after them and look around in the cellars that they, they're kind of retreating into? I mean, I, I, if, the, if the thieves would like to do that, then. Oh, yeah, let's. You know what? I'm a thief. I'm a scout, actually. Um, I'm yeah. going to, like, just sneak and scout ahead a bit. Yeah. All right. The, the, the troop of baboons is not, like, in a, in a marching order or anything like that. They, they're falling back into multiple different cellars. And if they're doing that, uh, they probably know where the, each other are um, as a scout. They, you're, you're almost sure, certain that there's some sort of connection down here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I, I lost internet for a little bit. And maybe he said that and then lost internet. Uh, maybe he's the seer, you know? <laughs> maybe Jay was the, <laughs> the seer the whole time for forecasting his own internet. I would like to figure out 
if this is their layer or if it's just yeah like a huge panel system where we could walk around yeah because uh, i don't think we want to enter their layer but we do yeah. want to enter the tunnels you're, you're reasonably exactly. certain based on their lack of defensiveness this is not a layer i feel like that's a an easy inference all right, right. so aka if there were babies and their moms here and stuff like that they would not be falling back they would be like get the hell out of here right so or i think we go in then yeah in these tunnels sure all right before yeah. we do that though i would like to try and give both of my companions a luck token if they don't know yeah. already so i don't i don't think i assume maximus doesn't have a luck token um i don't even know what is this exactly to be honest it lets you it lets you re-roll a dice Ah, if okay. You fail, if you fail a roll, and I have, as a seer, I have the ability to cast the omens or whatever, and um, and uh, give you give you a uh, lot token. So, is that okay, yeah. Eric? Can I roll that? Totally. But um, giving one to both people would take effectively two turns, which means another encounter check. Okay. Is Hawken Hawken back? Let me yes. let me. Yeah, welcome back. I'm sorry. Do you? Um, like this. Does Hawken already have have a luck token? Uh, Hawken does not have a luck token. Okay. Did you, did you want to want to spend two turns get while I do some luck tokens for everyone, or should I just do it for Maximus? The risk here is two turns means another encounter check. I think I will just do one for. Maximus for now. Sounds good. Uh, no, nine. That just about does it. I need. A, I need a nine. Beautiful. So you've got a lock token. You're very lucky. Thank you very much. We're gonna need it. Okay, gentlemen. Should we? Should we descend into these cellars? Oh, have, you yes. told, have you told Maximus about the troop of baboons and uh, what they did to a? Uh... The, the beastmen, <laughs> or you are you are you avoiding that part so uh, they keep their morale? I'm avoiding that part. Maybe Delga yeah. tells them. Okay. <laughs> Maybe Delga's like, I'm not sure we should we should uh, uh, fuck fuck around with these baboons, guys. Uh, oh. Yeah, got to break some om you got to break some eggs to make an omelet, right? Exactly. Well, um, besides the. Uh, rudimentariness of squatting in these cellars here there are no denizens there's no uh you know there's a little bit of baboon tracks that lead uh further into the darkness um who has a what's the light source what's the uh, i don't mind illumination I don't mind. uh delga has a has a torch and i'll ask him to, to light his torch um and i think maybe i will also light a torch so we have two torches Nice. Two torches in. All right, then. Uh, we're going to get into some actual, like, dungeon crawling. What's the general marching order? I think one thief at the front and one thief at the back. <laughs> and the seer and the retainer in the middle, maybe. Can we say that I, as a thief, as a scout thief, actually, um, can sort of try to sneak ahead, or would I just not see anything in the darkness? You wouldn't see anything in the darkness. You're yeah. down by light. So I have one hit point. I'm a bit yeah. precious of my one hit point. I, I, <laughs> yeah. I too, only have one hit point. But we all, I think we're all very squishy, so I guess I just take my shield, which probably makes me the tank of the party, um, I take my shield and my spear, and I'll um, be the one who goes first. Sure. Sure. Okay. So, um, in these sewer, or sewer, uh, in the cellars of um, the ruins here of this plaza, uh, you can see the little alcoves and things that baboons can kind of crawl through, um, through the rubble. They almost, uh, they did not dig them themselves. Um, you don't know what kind of bug did. But it's probably not ideal, but it's big enough for a baboon to, you know, wiggle and, and writhe around. But you all are much too big for them. Um, 
you you poke your heads in you know cautiously kind of seeing and yeah they they just they go for several feet um you just hear you hear like some rocks fall um through the tunnel like clearly things are moving around uh but um yeah they are definitely connected around uh but that's not the only egress points of this basement cellar um across from a pile of rubble um perhaps you because you are a thief you can feel the set the drafts of air um and uh without having to dig out the rubble um just kind of by it you see a staircase leading further down um it once had perhaps like a wooden um you know like hatch door on it at some point that's been um blasted open like hacked open perhaps uh with some sort of tool or implement rather than claw uh revealing this sort of uh single five foot kind of um staircase um leading um further further down um from this basement this could have been like a trash chute smuggler tunnel you know something uh who knows is there any particular sense emerging from this uh this stair stairwell beastman sp smells or uh ghoul, ghoul mold, smells mold dampness existential dread Pretty pretty standard dungeon smell. Um, no, I would actually say I would I would I would definitely say there's a smell of death. Not as bad as the the ghouls, like not that you know. Let's but let's let's say if that was a ten, you're you're getting like a six. Okay, that's that's acceptable. Yeah, I think ambient dungeon smell of death is about like a three or a four. So okay. something has died. Yeah, but maybe not. And the scary thing, or... yeah, the scary thing though is that you have to go down these like steep, um, worn stairs, uh, basically one at a time. Um, think of like a basement staircase in a like a in a city. You know how they're like extremely, like, you know, extremely sharp and down, and they descend very quickly. It's like it's, but like it's not like a ladder. <laughs> it's you're it's that kind of situation. How how far these stairs go down? Uh, it's about twenty feet down. Twenty feet for okay. people mapping. Do you mind? Do you mind if I do the mapping, guys? Or oh no, not at all. Right. The rest of this sort of um, cellar layer is, you know, again, it's got a little bit of cobwebs, detritus, rocks. It doesn't, uh, but it's about twenty feet wide. Uh, and you know the various tunnels from bugs that the baboons are using across the cellars. Welcome back, uh, Hawken. Um, no sweat uh, about your internet, buddy. I restarted my router. Hopefully, it shall. Keep up. I live in a very, very rural area. So. For sure. Uh, we we thought it was hilarious how you're like my internet's dying, and you were like you like prognosticated your own fate. You were the, <laughs> you were the seer, uh, actually, the whole time. Yeah. We, to catch you up, we pursued the baboons. Um, they retreated, fell back into the cellar. Uh, they seem to have scurried away through bug tunnels. However, uh, Maximus here has um found a uh, in the in the dark recesses of this cellar um and another cellar inside of it perhaps uh descending further down and we're debating whether to go um someone lit a scented candle that smells like corpse <laughs> that's a joke there's no light it's just but it does have like a you know if the ghouls were like a 10 out of 10 death smell uh this is like a six or seven out of ten All right, let's descend down these stairs. Okay. Where are we going? Smart drawings. Well, yeah. So it's, it's going for about 20 feet, right? And this is a five, it's five foot. Uh, yeah, exactly. Five foot wide. Yeah. It's one of those like really steep, again, like really steep, like apartment basement stairs that you're like this. Someone's going to break their neck going down, <laughs> you know, like this is, this is definitely not safe. Uh, oh, which which direction are we traveling? Are we traveling, are we traveling north or south? Or oh, uh, great question. Uh, you're traveling north. Yeah, roughly. Let's just say north. Um, this the basement. So yeah. Um, if we're looking at the actual map of Arden Vol, like the the city part, yeah, like the ruined plazas, like you're going like towards the north, north. Like that's where you enter the cellar, and then on the far side of the the room was the other staircase going down. Uh. To this cellar inside the cellar so yeah i would let's say north 
Okay, so we proceed down. Yeah. Uh, uh, Hawken, Hawken will uh, produce a torch and uh, light it as well, assuming Delger has one lit. I've got one lit as well, so I don't know if we need... We don't, might not oh, need three. oh, okay, so, yeah, sorry. Yeah. I, yeah. I thought Delger... Was yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I think the marching order is that you're going to be in the back, Hawken. Okay. Right. That's okay with you. Yep. Okay. Great. Cool. Super agreeable. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, so there's a few things uh, to point out as we descend the staircase that sort of uh, that things open. Um, there you enter a. All right. How how can I explain it? Or right, I should probably give you the description of the the room first from what you see. Okay, uh, so you, the first thing you do when you come down these staircases is that uh, about 10 feet, or sorry, 20 feet ahead of you is a, is a solid blank wall of, uh, that seems to be of like masonry, right? So clearly you're, you're in an, another level of something. Um, five feet from that wall, Right, so so from your stair, it's I'm trying to like describe this room. This room is very big and it's bigger than your light source. So I'm trying to give you what you can see, right? The okay. Entrance, right. So starting well, from the from bottom, the from, yeah. So at the bottom of the stairs, so we're at the bottom of the stairs, and we're looking in. Yes. And there's exactly. a, there's a 20, 20 feet away. There's a solid wall, um, wall. extending as past your light source, uh, going perpendicular to you. Right. So. Um, from twenty feet out, so that your light, your torch is hitting this. Um, but I would also say 10 feet um, to either side of you, so the, a midway point between the wall and you, uh, are a set of columns. Um, these columns seem to be uh, of the old bank, so I believe that is uh, Dorian columns of an origin. Uh, but also of note is there's a set of double doors uh, that are offset from the wall directly ahead of you. Um, so that 20 feet, there's a set of double doors, let's say five feet. So you know, where the staircase is, then there's 20 feet of space. Then there's the wall. Mm -hmm. Five feet mm -hmm. over is the set of double doors. Um, so that'd be like those 10 squares there. Um, but otherwise, this room is approximately what you can see symmetric, except for this, that set of doors. Which are they to, are they to the, the uh, east or west of, uh, as we look at the, as we look at this, uh, this door, uh, this wall? Sorry, what? That means. Uh, so we're looking at the, a wall 20 feet away. Yeah. And if the double doors, are they... They're in the north wall, right? Oh, yeah, they'd be um, clockwise uh, five feet off, so to the east. Okay. Okay. When you get to the, the bottom side of the stairs here... Um, yeah. Yeah. There's not only though there's two rows of columns um, creating um, from what you can see here uh, eight columns total. Uh, the room actually extends off. Um, it's about a hundred feet, uh, or two hundred feet total. Two hundred feet. One, two, three, four, five. No, it's a hundred feet total. Sorry, fifty feet. Sorry, I doubled it in my head. Sorry. Uh, forgive me. I am. I'm a little slow today. Uh, so my math is can be wrong. Uh, which is not great for giving commands for mappings, but um, no, it's it's fifty feet left or right from the stairs. So, yeah, fifty feet in each direction, then. Yeah, from what you can see. Okay. Yeah. Um, forgive me, Patrick. Uh, the where the stairs exit uh, when they debouche. The the room seems to go behind the stairs as well, but your your light source can't see the the back. But the wall the wall that you do see for sure uh, is that perpendicular wall about twenty feet away from you. Um, and that set of double doors. Oh. Is that okay? Yeah. Um. Can we just walk the room and see? The dimensions? Yeah. 
the full dimensions of this room as you're looking at it. Yeah, it's 100 feet wide. It's a rectangular room and uh, 50 feet on the short side of the rectangle. Um, it's a symmetric room. Each side is uh, has a set of eight of these Dork columns. Um, at five feet from the staircase, um, Sorry, uh, I, I, I'm noticing an error that your characters would obviously find in the mapping. So I want to call that out. The staircase is not at the entrance of the room. It's actually in the middle of the room. Oh, okay. So, so we've so come you, down like a... You came right. down, yeah, exactly. You came down from the middle. So you can, when you start to get the picture of the room, that's where I was explaining that, the, trying to explain how the room is bigger than what your light source can appear because uh, see, it, it yeah. extends to the south of you. Yeah, we've entered, we've entered like yeah. in the middle of this, essentially in the middle of this restroom, right? Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, so it's, a, again, it's a 50 feet by 100 foot rectangular room. It's got these columns here uh, that set of double doors. Uh, and uh, is there anything, what's the, uh, what's the floor of this room like? Is it anything of, uh, anything of note? Uh, yeah, it's a very worn stone. Um, yeah, so the that death smell, mm. uh, you it comes from two corpses that are hideously um, purple and black. Um, but uh, whatever poisoned them is perhaps preventing their uh, full decomposition. They, uh, these are not the same colors as the ghouls to give you, right? Uh, both of the, there, so there's a pair of these corpses, right? Um, yeah. Their throats uh, are, it's almost like they have like, not necessarily two heads, but they have like a second, like like a ring around their throat that sort of like inflamed and suffocated them. Like clearly the cause of death was some sort of, uh, you know, like, Think of like a black plague or like, you know, it's like, like your lymph nodes have like super swollen and ex almost like exploded or something like that uh, around them. Does it look like, they, okay, does it look like they've been poisoned, do you think? Or does yeah. it look like a disease? Um, or, or we, I don't we think not you, really you wouldn't be trained. I don't think anyone here is trained enough to. Okay. Uh, and where are they in relation to this double, double, double door? Are they near the double doors? Uh no um they're actually near this the furthest column to the um to the west um i would also point out that the upper left corner here so the corner near the corpses uh is covered in spider webs so you can't even see the corner of that room right okay let's stay out of that part of the room yeah uh the light of your of your torches uh, flickers off something in the hand of one of the corpses, um, some sort of vial. Uh, it's got a, like a thick red substance or hue inside the vial. Is the vial still filled or is it half yes. empty as if someone drank from it? No. Uh, the environmental storytelling uh, from the corpse seems that they died before they could get the thing open. So it's full. I use my spear to try and fish these this file out from the uh, corpse's hand. The hands fall off um, as you uh, touch the bodies, uh, leaking um, the, this more purple, thick, congealed ichor. Uh, clearly, whatever reacted to the blood is uh, gross. Unlike ghouls, again, they have blood. So my very careful hypothesis is that there's some sort of spider in the cobwebs and uh, it poisons you. Yeah, that seems to, that seems to be logical. Uh, I do I do potion sipping if you wanted if you wanted to crack it open and give a test. Oh yeah, nothing. I'd rather do it and just sip <laughs> on some bottle that I just retrieved from a very sick corpse. Um, I tell yeah, I, I, I take a I take a sip. <laughs> yeah. Um, Cheers. Tastes like, tastes like cinnamon. 
are not necessarily schnapps. Uh, base, you're you're a fighter. You've seen these before. This is a healing potion. All right, sweet. For shame. Or you're a thief, but you're a spathari. So like you've been around healing potions before. Yeah. yeah. Um, this one is not like a imperial concocted. This, um, if anything, I would inform you that this seems to be like a homebrew, like somebody. Uh, made this up uh, themselves, right? Not necessarily like the branding or the label, but um, I would say that just based on the concoction and you've been around enough Imperial healing potions and things like that, like this is either, you know, uh, a druid or, you know, someone known for alchemy or, uh, or potion makings was able to, uh, you know, do it that way is what does, I'm trying to indicate. Does anyone have a free slot for this potion? Um, I do not actually. I'm fully loaded, but um, you can give it to my retainer if you like. He'll hold on to it. Uh, there's a little bit extra treasure on the bodies. I didn't um, disclose. Uh, their bodies are basically busting out of their armor in terms of the way they're bloated. Uh, but each of them has a, a pair. One one has a set of heavy armor. Uh, <laughs> right, another and one has a set of chainmail. Um. Is it what condition? Gross. What condition is this armor in? War soaked, but functional. It, it, it's functional. What killed these it? people did not puncture their armor. Yeah. So, I'm a Spafari, so I could wear the armor, and I'm currently like the sort of Phoebe um, fighter in the group. So, maybe I take the heavy armor. And we could always um, we could always sell it. Um, I, I sell it, yeah. I, I assume the seer seers probably can't wear heavy even leather armor. I'm not. I have to check. This does is your hireling? Yeah. yeah. Does your hireling have any free slots? The hireling has still free slots. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah, this is not plate mail. Like this is not like Arcantian lamellar. This would be like banded mail, which has the same kind of um, stats as plate mail in O in uh, Shadow Dark stats. So as it's just a straight 15 AC. No decks. So I'll I should... put down one of my javelins and get this portion of healing. And if it's okay with the rest of the group, I'd like to light the cobwebs on fire with my flint and steel. <laughs> and uh, we take it from there. <laughs> Okay, I I will wait at the bottom of the stairs with my with my spear ready to hurl anything that emerges from the from the cobwebs. Because I'm a bit hesitant to like take this armor off the corpse and all that with a potential what? threat uh, like lurking in the corner. Feels like a trap, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I hear it's affirmative with me taking the risk. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> sneak up to the cobweb and. Uh, do a little sparks with my flint and steel and right. light a fire. The webs light with ease. Um, the corners burn away, revealing that, uh, or the, the webs burn away, revealing the corner to not be a corner, uh, but actually Ooh. a diagonal access route. Uh, but to where uh, seems to be that there's about, you, you lose track after six uh, large spiders hissing and screaming away from the flames. Um, scurrying down. Um, there's actually a closet uh, off this room. Um, so there's actually two exits, uh, egress points in this corner. Uh, one is a closet uh, where the spiders were pouring out from. Um, it's, so it, it's not diagonal. Um, it's actually, it's adjoining the western wall. Right, so you're nine o'clock, uh, five feet from the um, that corner, and then on the northern wall, five feet uh, extends an uh, a hallway uh, that goes five feet um, and hits uh, fifteen feet further from there, uh, the edge of another room. Are we using a five feet grid or a ten feet grid? I think you're uh, five like... feet. Okay, I've start... ten feet. To be honest, just as. No. Okay. I think this is nice. 10 feet. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, cool. And, and the, these spiders, are they moving? Are they fleeing? Or they oh, are, yeah, are moving? They to... don't want, yeah. They're not looking to fight. They're looking to set up and just... Which tunnel are they fleeing uh, along? They're, sorry, they're fleeing to the north. To the north. Let's yeah. go so west. The flames lick some of them because obviously they have to go through them to, to get away, right? Uh, so you hear a little bit of the hissing of the, the, of the, the spiders uh, crying and screaming, um, probably alerting uh, anything else down here of something going on. Uh, so I'm going to make a quick, I'm, I'm going to say that's going to be an encounter check just as a consequence. We're safe for now. Did we want to check these corpses first before we go west? Oh yeah, I um, I slip into the heavy armor. Nice. All right, uh, that's going to take a turn to put it on. Uh, while you're doing that, do you want to search the closet and stuff where the spiders came out, or do you want to do anything, um, Kalamanos? Uh, Kalamanos, yeah, we'll take the opportunity to to search this closet. Yeah. So it doesn't look like uh. Hawkins going to actually join with us after all. It looks like uh, his connectivity's um, He's not good enough. Okay. No. So it's now it's down to two. But the good news here is that uh, we get our first set of treasure uh, found here uh, in the closet. Yeah. Yeah. Great. More shares for us. Yeah. Um. So there was something. Uh. You find this the ashes of some kind of paper, and surrounding that paper though, uh, is now a charred uh red gemstone oh yep nice a, uh... i don't know if you want to assess gems uh it's about the size of your thumb i'm sorry it's red gem now now gems i, I assume gems don't take a slot they or do they take a slot okay no they're effectively uh, i would i would say they're effectively coins Right, so you can carry a hundred gemstones. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's how I would. How I'd normally do it myself. Um, it, uh, the approximate do, do we want value. To... The approximate. So to give you an idea, the approximate value of this uh, scorched uh, red stone, uh, if it's a cheap uh, stone, it's probably somewhere between uh, ten and a hundred gold. Uh, if it's like a ruby or something like that, then you're looking at anywhere between a hundred and a thousand. Cool. Okay. Right. Just off the dome unless you had someone had a you know a dwarf or some kind of appraisal background uh you know something like that i i was a scholar in a former life i don't think scholars know no tons of gemstones. um you would say uh hmm. what i would say is that based on the 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 charred remains of the the ashes of whatever the paper was covering this thing is that this might have been like a material component Okay, so so sorry, it was wrapped in some sort of paper that's burnt in the fire. Yeah, exactly. Can I? Is it possible to see it? Was there any sort of writing on this paper that I can Perhaps make out? A, any sort of a, letters? Uh, yeah, a mithric glyph of Thoth remains. You know, so like there's like maybe something like that and like an onk or you know symbol. It's like clearly this is, was a uh, some sort of religious scroll. text. Yeah, like a prayer yeah. scroll or a, yep. Maybe someone left an offering to Thoth. Okay. Yeah, Great. It. Well, it looks like looks like we're getting paid, Delgo, if we make it out of this basement. So, I leave a crowbar in this room, and um, maybe some rations for the spiders. A oh, good idea. Um, if you want to, if you want to give Delgo something to carry, he's got plenty of slots. So, if you want to give him uh, a crowbar, I mean, he's already got a crowbar. Oh yeah, he can have. He can have a. He can have. Uh, crowbar. Crowbar, yeah. Okay, so he's got two crowbars. Is, and who, and you, have you got the potion? You're going to hold on to the potion? I have the potion, yeah. Okay, great. But I, and, the, and, the, yeah. and the armor you're wearing. Fine. Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure rations would work well with spiders, but, you know, if there's other denizens, I feel like they would definitely trigger, you know, ration, you know like a, a ghoul or a hook horror or some kind of creature that actually eats rations. I don't, spiders kind of want to eat the gooey stuff of people, not necessarily a pemmican. Maybe give that ration to the um, to the hireling as well, like free rations in one slot. Yeah. Uh, free rations. Okay, great. Yeah, I'll yeah. Add that to his inventory. Cool. Scattered. Uh, Thank you. I, I should have. I think if I was a more clever GM, I would have mentioned this as well. As the spiders were fleeing, and uh, they scattered around a bunch of coins uh, as well, and um, kicking them into that 
uh, extra room where they fled, right? Um, scanning around, you see a ton of copper pieces, um, you know, and a handful of silver and gold. If you want to spend a, some time trying to collect them as well. Of course. That's why we're here. So yeah. Go take around to go around and pick, you know, pick them up. Uh, next treasure set will be 55 copper, 38 silver, and 10 gold. 55 copper. You have already. And, uh, how much yeah. silver, sorry? 38. Okay. So I'm most successful yeah. delve so far. Yeah, and uh, for the record, um, this is also in modern Arcantian coins, right? Okay. Should we proceed west cautiously? Or did we look at this yes. door? I mean, we've not looked at this door, have we? You have not looked at it. Nah, door, we, we... But maybe we should take... While the spiders have fled, maybe we should take the opportunity to... Yeah, yeah. Get back here. Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's, Although, let's... I, in general, I prefer secret doors over non-secret doors. Yes, it's a, it's a good philosophy. Uh, there is, there's like sand and dust probably like gently pouring down um, around here, uh, not just at the doors. Uh, clearly, the, the, the stress of whatever happened long ago has um, you know, made this place structurally questionable. But um, if it's, it's held up for this long, it's, if spiders are living down here, it's probably okay. Probably fine. It's, so it is, just, is this the whole room or just the, just the Western Passage looks like it's... No, the whole room. Um, everything down here, like this entire uh, area seems to be like, you know, these columns have seen better days and they're, you know, they're literally doing the heavy lifting, like quite literally. There's nothing, there's nothing, sorry, before we move out of this room, there's no, there, there wasn't anything on the walls, like frescoes or any images or, or on the no. columns. No, uh, but thank you for asking and checking. No, there, there's no frescoes down here. Okay, great. Let's, let's go west, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. So no, no door? I will come back to the door, possibly. Okay. Great. Uh, so then we're going to move up where the spiders fled, right? Where you're picking up the coins. Oh, I thought the spiders fled north. I thought there was two yes. two exits. Okay. No, the 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 leftmost exit is a terminating um, closet. Oh, that's a closet I've just explored. Yeah. Okay, I yeah. see. Sorry. Okay, so, so did we want to? Do we want to go where these spiders have gotten then, Maximus, or do we want to check out this double door? Ah. Uh... Maybe maybe we go back to the double door. Yeah, can we can we change change tack? <laughs> yeah. Um, but let me. Uh, your light should reveal uh where the spiders kind of fled, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so let me so let me give you the dimensions of this room uh to give you an idea. Uh, it is a fifty, say like a a fifty by twenty five, uh rectangle. Um. Yeah. Uh, there is a altar or a pedestal um, on the in the east, but there is a at the far left corner. I'm I'm before I continue. I figured you guys need to get the rectangle down first, and then I'll. Yeah. How how far does this passage go though? Is it does it open straight onto? Oh, the... sorry. Yeah, you're you're opening into the the center of this of this rectangle, so it, it's, it's just, fifty it's wide, just... so about twenty five on each side. Okay. And then it's uh twenty five feet to the uh, the far wall that goes perpendicular to your oh, entrance point. Yeah. And there's an altar. It looks like there's an altar of some kind on yeah, the east. Yeah, there's, there's yeah, there's an altar on the eastern side, or a pedestal of something. So the spiders clearly fled uh, down this other egress point that I was going to holler out to you. Um, similarly. Almost, almost think of like this room as like a recursive description of the col the columned room without the columns. So there's all so while there is no closet, there is another exit point in the far corner. That's like like a five foot um, hallway uh, extending further down into this complex. So that would be all the way to the west, uh, extending past. But going north. Correct, going north. There is no other exit points besides that pathway. 
Um, but there is this uh, altar or it's probably better to call it a plinth. Um, and on top of it, uh, not not disturbed by the spiders uh, fleeing out here or their webbings or the smoke or anything like that is a silver chalice. Um, completely finely polished as though untouched by time. I feel like you're trying to get us to go into this room. <laughs> I mean, I mean you know, uh, yes. Time is money, and you know, <laughs> these are the things that I think you would notice. Uh, like, because you would, like, when you were you're were, you're were picking up the coins in this corner for a while, like you saw that stuff, right? Okay. Uh, you see something glinting in the next room. Yeah. <laughs> Sh shut uh. up. <laughs> no, uh, you're absolutely right. Um. No, I'm not even joking. Like, it would make sense. Yeah. Um. Yeah, let's go in there. Let's get this chalice and let's before 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 I get a chalice, Mr. GM. Yeah. Um I'll check if the pedestal has any pressure plates or things like that. Yeah. Uh you're you're a thief, um well trained in the the art of traps and deceptions. You're definitely looking for some sort of like weighted countermeasure kind of, you know, Indiana Jones kind of thing, right? Yes. Why like how is this thing still here, right? Uh yeah. Um, you don't see one, but I think, uh, it's either better than, um, your skills have, I couldn't possibly not be trapped. Right. But you don't, you don't see one. Would you like to spend a turn, um, thoroughly investigating it? Yes. So I'm saying you're as a thief, basically as a, as a thief, I give you an assessment like that's pretty detailed for free and I'm saying you're not detecting anything. So you could get a, f you could really investigate it for a full turn. Um, no role necessary. Um, just your, you know, your background. Um, accomplishes it, um, or uh, yeah. Oh, my bad. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so we're gonna spend a second turn, um, taking your time looking at this. Uh, there's no traps. There is no pressure point. There's no like wire attached to the chalice. There's nothing. There's no like pedal. Like there's no like even the stones around the altar of some kind. You know. Can like, I take a third turn to investigate it more thoroughly? No. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Okay. No, no, no. Yeah. I, um... uh, for sure. <laughs> but uh... let's just let's just take the chalice then. Grab that chalice. Yeah. yeah. I'm keeping. But while all this is going on, I'm keeping an eye out for. I want to see if where the spiders went. I'm gonna. Yes. Yes. Del Delgar and I. Are you're, the, you're the CR. You hold a. See yeah. out. Look out. I would be look out. You. <laughs> I can't imagine the fear of when you first touch and try to lift the chalice at this point, but it comes off just fine. Uh, it's, it's a pretty uh, silver chalice. Okay. Um, put that on your high link, please, because okay. um, if I carry that, I'm encumbered. Yeah. Yep. Silver chalice. Silver chalice. There we go. Take this, please. Yep. Uh, I'm keeping track of the actual appraisal values of these items instead of you. Um, but uh, I would say, you know, the the quality of this chalice is definitely worth. Um, if if it's gold, if it's a gold piece a night, like let's just like we're not really like doing like the downtime spending money for your lifestyle kind of thing. But let's say like this chalice, based on your your estimations from other people buying things and things like that, like, this is this is at least a month's worth of money, you know? Like, I would not accept a month's less of staying at an inn somewhere food comped to me, you know, for, for the price of this chalice, right? So, like, it's worth a lot. Uh, not, like, not retire money, but decent money. Yeah, like a, a nice solid less than hundred, wage. Less than 100 more than 20, right? Something like that. Sure. Uh, and besides the altar, did I notice anything? Besides the altar, did I notice anything else in this room whilst um, Maximus yeah, etched, was? I mean, etched on the altar is an anvil, but um, no, uh, there's no signs of anybody in this room for besides the spiders. And there are cobwebs. I guess there are cobwebs in here and. Yeah, small smaller cobwebs that escaped the uh, survivors of the uh, the inferno. Certain, you know, the survivor strands. And there's this passage to the there's this passage on the on the western part of the northern wall. Yeah. 
And we do do we figure the spiders must have gone in that direction? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Unless I mean, I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna look up. I'm gonna look up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're all, they're all like in a circle above us. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, and up, uh, you look above, and if anything, uh, you feel relief because it doesn't look like the ground is kind of shaking or, you know, bits of rubble or anything is falling from in this part of the structure. It seems so, a bit more structured. Quite the style. opposite, yeah. yeah. Hmm. I, so I'm tempted I yeah, to go, on. go after the spiders because if the, I mean, no wait, we we think the corpses are poisoned by the spiders. Yeah, and there were six. The door. Of, there were six of them. I feel like we've we've pushed our luck coming. Yeah, in. yeah. Let's yeah, go to the I double door. To, I agree. And like, please don't take this. You two are are obviously like, I love I, Patrick. I've played with you a, a fair number of times. I respect you tremendously, yeah. and obviously Thanks. you ran this game uh in stuff. I. You've been in all of games so far, and I I respect you and admire you tremendously. So don't take it the wrong way when I say like we could also you each have you each have one HP if you got this treasure and you just want to pull out and call it today. Like I, I think that's completely understandable. It's, I would not take any offense if you want to yeah, rip cord early. I'm not gonna lie, this has absolutely crossed my mind. Yeah, but I also think it's kind of the boring way out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We should at least check this door. I yeah, yeah. Door. Should yeah. should push our luck a little. I mean, I think I think if like Hakon was here, we could have you know we could game on a little more. But I'd like two is with literally he has like three times your HP, and he's also a scout, <laughs> like a thief. <laughs> like, yeah, and he would still die in one hit. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Each literally a stiff breeze will kill. Even it, it your does, um, yeah. your your hireling has one HP. Like you all have yeah, one yeah. HP. <laughs> like, it, like it doesn't matter the spiders are poisonous. They if yeah. they if they hit us, we're dead. Yeah, yeah so, I, exactly. Oh. Like the the bite of a cat will kill you. So like I don't. Yeah. On the other hand, I have an AC of 16 at this point. It's true. With a shield and heavy armor. So um, I think we can take one more room. Okay, let's check, let's check out these doors. Yeah. Quick, also, I want to switch quick. my weapon to the one of the ghoul claws. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, hand audit. What's, what's everyone carrying? Uh, I've got a torch in one hand, and I'm... I'm um... I'm guessing I ca I'm carrying a spear in the other because I kind of use it like a. Yeah. Do I need two? I... Do, I, do I need two hands to wield a spear as a weapon? No. 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 Okay. Fine. Yeah. No. I, I, especially in this game, like the hoplity, you know, like. Se like a short spear. spear hand, yeah. yeah. Like shield spear is so classic. I I would. Yeah. Um, I have a shield in one hand. In the other hand, I have my spear, but I put the ghoul claw at the end of it. Okay. Mm, nice. Yeah. Okay. Nice. All right, um, let's That's open the door. Yeah. Well, should, we have, should we have a look at the door? So. We have look, That's we have an look incredible look magic weapons. item. Like, like it's just a, literally like a, a pole with a, with, a, with a manipulable hand. Yeah. That is, Sorry, yeah. Anyways. Before we push the door open, can we, is there anything on the door? Is there any? <laughs> yeah. Um, so the door is uh, an incredibly bad shape. Um, clearly it's iron banded from the wood and stuff like that, but clear, like whenever, based on the, the structure of the way things are bent, like there's splinters all through this wood here. Um, it's fact, it's probably like not even locked. Uh, the problem is that it's bowing into the ground and it's sort of like stuck, right? Like you could clearly look at it, like whatever the, like the locking mechanism has like been rusted or, and like, you know, from all the, like the dampness and, and debris and stuff over time that it's. As, you know, as a thief, you see it's completely busted. That's not keeping the door closed. Uh, you know, what's what's keeping this door closed is uh, the damn pressure from like the ceiling and the rocks that are like enclosing on it. That's kind of sealing it. Um, you can kind of peek sweet. through a little bit, you know, like through some of the, like there might be like a, a small little crack space. Uh, but you know, if you're gonna get through this door, you're probably gonna have to hack it open, and then then like I don't know, it might be a load bearing door at this point. So yeah, so could I kind of sort of shine my torch? Does it look like the, the is it, whatever is beyond? Does it look like it's like been a collapse? Like the, if even if we got it open, is it going to be yeah. blocked? Oh yeah, if you totally got it open, it would collapse, uh, damaging it. But 
I think I think Patrick, you're smart enough. Like, oh, sorry, uh, you are smart enough. But Maximus is also smart, and that uh, I think Maximus could probably like you know with a little bit of of force, if you do it right, you could probably squeeze through a crack like one at a time if you like you know pried it open just a little bit more. But you are kind of playing with uh, fire, right? Would my retainer even want to do that? I've got a feeling he must be itching to get back to the inn. <laughs> but oh, we... yeah, he, he absolutely wants to go back. <laughs> this is where money then. I'm, yeah, we're good. We're good for two months. You know, we're... I wonder, I, wonder if we no, could roll... share would be. Listen, yeah. I wonder if we could roll something heavy down the stairs from like above in a way that breaks open the doors. Or yeah. is it too yeah. like too much at an angle? Maybe we could go back up and see if we can find any any suitable masonry or rubble. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We could do that with. Let's do maybe. that. Yeah, let's maybe we could try. I don't know if it's angled right, but I mean, I've got a rope and a grappling hook as well. Is there anything? There oh, anything... yeah. So let's let's use that. Yeah. Let's use the grappling hook and have the rope attached to it, and then just pull from up the stairs. From up the stairs. Yeah. 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 Can we try and do that. Okay. My strength is not superb, but I don't know if it makes much difference. Um, no, I I love I love that idea. Okay. Uh, this will require a strength check. I think to see. I think there's a question uh, of yeah, risk and a... things involved here rather than exp you know. Typically, I mean, strength... time, typically time, talent, you know, and tools is enough to say like you can just do it in a turn. But mm. I think given the danger, uh, that if this goes bad, it could fall. I'd rather see a roll to see um how dangerous this goes. I have, I have, my... fif I have fifteen got... strength. Okay, so my strength is nine. I'm a I'm sorry, yeah. I'm a minus one. So you're probably the strongest in the fight. Can we work? Can we all pull? ten. So. Can, can we all pull and give give um, provide a bonus or anything like that? I don't know if I, we can do that in this game, or is it one of us has to <laughs> has to do it? Um, no, I think I think giving somebody's going to roll, but I think advantage because all three of you are going to be pulling on it. Just you just have to yeah. declare one of you as the person doing it. Okay, and well, because nominate, the situation is that it's a long rope, you know, there's not a question of too many cooks or anything like that. Obviously, you all can contribute with the rope to try to pull this thing. Right, many hands yeah. do make light work uh, in this respect. Yeah, it's 50, 50 foot of rope, I think. Yeah. No, 60 so foot that, of rope. Yeah. That gets you um, right to the base of the stairs. No, 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 wait. Uh, wait no, uh, sorry. Base of the stairs, but like up the stairs. Because it's like 20 feet, then 20 feet. And I don't, I, I don't believe in hypotenuses. They're not real. Uh, let's just say that's, you know, that's a bit, it's the right distance. Great. Well, heave ho. So yeah. I roll at an advantage. Yeah. A strength check at advantage, please. Uh, I believe the difficulty for this, let's say it's a, a, a 15. 15 is my strength. Oh, do you I get... Modify. This game has modifiers. Plus okay. two? Yeah, yeah plus two of the way. Oh, uh, so it's okay. Yeah, d20 uh, advantage. I don't know how to do advantage in uh, DD dice. It has... Um, I think I do. It has, it has, it has uh, a button. Button, yeah. I love that for us. But why? I see a nineteen rolled. That a nineteen, yeah, sufficient. Nice. Okay, sweet, sweet. How much, how much right. falling damage do we take from that? <laughs> None, but it's definitely like heave, heave. You pull, uh, and it kind of gives way, and you all kind of like bump into each other, and you fall back uh, into the room, um, but uh, in a good way. Uh, so what you one of you falls onto uh, some rubble uh, that you m mistook as rock uh, is not rock. Oh, no. Uh, uh -oh. Is, no, it's good. It's marble. This uh. is a this is a good thing. Oh, it's marble. Yeah. Okay. Can we take a close look at this marble? Is it, it's not another bit of a statue, yeah. is it? Uh, it is. Well, you're not. It looks like it could be an arm or like it's something round, uh, clearly carved, uh, but there it's and it's long. Okay, I want to. I, I want. Yeah, you're going to actually have to spend some time to do this instead of going downstairs and seeing the results of your work. 
But do you want to tell Maximus what's going on? Because I don't think Maximus uh, has been following about the statues. Oh, about the statues. Okay, so um, last session uh, we found this marble arm uh, yeah. that we we buried at the ghoul, ghoul basement, and our hypothesis was, and there's also we saw also saw a pedestal uh, near the river that had just some marble feet on it, and at the inn, as the inn of the broken head, above the the threshold there they've there is a head of is it is it is it fof fof no eric no the, there is a there's a head of a giant statue that they've, they've, they've put up there and we speculated that the arm that we found last session belongs to the same statue so we were kind of the keen head of the, yeah to find other bits of the statue and if this is another bit of the statue that's quite exciting yeah the head of the statue uh, anyway yeah. The the head of at the end of the broken head is a uh, stoic looking female warrior. Oh, so art. Yeah. okay, so that that's likely to be uh, Arden. Yeah, herself. So it, um, it matches the statue on the um, main entrance. The big statue on the on the cliffs. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, it's, not. Okay. it's not. It's not the, the same. It's not the same woman. Then okay. It's not the same visage, no. Um, the the visage of Arden on the cliff face is a helmeted warrior. Uh, this and one does not. This uh, the broken head has the helmet tilted up, so you can see your face. Um, if you look up uh, anyone wearing like a Corinth, uh, the standard Corinthian Greek helmet, like never, no one ever wears it down because it's really hard to breathe. Everyone wears them like tilted up. So you can like breathe and see, and that's what like the end of the broken head one has. So um, again, so the uh, cliff face has it face down, like warrior kind of thing, and this one has it like lifted up, so you can see your face. Right, so I'm just so that it's, down. It's a different style, yeah. Um, face is hidden. Um, so I would like to spend some time digging this out for sure, um, with with Delga's help. Yeah. Get, get it into his, well, 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 we'll see what it is first. I mean, I don't, I'm assuming. I'm assuming here that it's, it's longer than an arm. It's not. It's not a breath, a breastplate or anything like that. Why is this thing wiggling? I'm trying to roll a die here, and it's just like wiggling on my end. The hell? There we go. Okay, we're in the clear. I cannot tell you the number of times I've been. Sorry. Oh, oh, now they're all getting sent. Okay, my bad. It's okay. Yeah, that's happened to me too. <laughs> all right, there might be something with the. Dang API or something. Okay, uh, we're in we're in the clear. Uh, you you dust off the rubble. Uh, yeah, this is like the uh, a femur. You and uh, the, the the giveaway though is like the the kneecap armor. Uh, you're looking at a leg here. Um, yeah. exciting. Could you tell like if you have an independent leg of a statue? Is there a telltale sign on if it's a left or right? Um, Would knee armor have a different shape on, depending on the knee? I think if it's like a well-made statue, you could tell from uh, from the knees. Yeah, um, and from like the bone bone shape. Yeah, I I'm gonna be I'm gonna be even <laughs> more uh, specific. So it's the left. It's the left leg. You have the left leg of the statue here. This is the uh, pack four item because of how long it is. Uh, can that um, would take all that's going to take all of Elga's remaining slots, yeah. Uh, or or it would take two people carrying it out in hands. Well, I think I think Delga can take it for the moment. <laughs> My god, Delga. this is gonna be, um, yeah, you he's, know, lo no, he's no, actually sorry, loaded. Sorry, down. sorry, 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 sorry. No, it's not, it's unreasonable, uh, that you could pack this. It is, it has to be carried, okay. So he would have to put out his torch. Carry yeah. him. Could he carry him both hands? Yeah, and I'll I'll keep my torch alight so we still have we still have light if we want to check. Now check the door. That um... yeah um yeah. What I I think what I would say is that why you know it's the left leg is that I think maybe let's just say like the kneecaps of imperial armor like there's some kind of insignia on the left and the right knee that are different and because you're a spathari, uh, you know the background of imperial armor like oh this that's that's the cap of an imperial armor kneecap, you know. So, but yeah, just carry it. Great, yeah. So Del Delga's got that. I will carry on carrying my my spear and torch. Should we have a look for these doors, uh, Maximus? 
can definitely squeeze through. Oh, this wasn't even this wasn't even in the room yet. No, this was no, a, you actually. Yeah, this was that was in the this was in the the cellar before the cellar. You're 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 in that. You know, you went into the the basement with the baboons. Like you 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 pulled so hard that you fell back into some rubble. And I described that there was something. Oh, was okay, like, cool. Yeah, let's let's, let's 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 see what we opened. Yeah. All right. Uh, descending down again. Um. Yeah. So you're going to find a 50 foot hallway, uh, extending from the doors. Uh, about 20 feet north of you, uh, there are, uh, sorry, it's a 50 foot hallway that turns into a cross, uh, intersection, right? So the complex continues, uh, and that's kind of like where your light will end. Um, so from the 12 o'clock, so then I'm going to start describing now from like the east, like going around a clock, right? Um, so yeah, so your light extends 50 feet down the hallway. It terminates at a T intersection. Um, Halfway down, halfway down, halfway down this this hallway, uh, there is a uh, a set of doors. Um, because they're symmetric on each side of this hallway, about twenty five feet down. So I'm kind of cheating on the going around the clock description, but down this hallway, there's two sets of doors there, uh, about five feet wide, uh, standard uh, like wooden banded that seem to be in much better support than these double two. Uh, then lastly, uh. There is a hallway toward uh, a ten foot wide hallway towards the right, leaving these doors. Um, it extends fifteen feet, ten feet before it shrinks down to five feet. Um, this whole complex has these little tiny like hallway alcoves in the corners, um, and right at the edge of your light, it looks like there might be another uh, ingress, like a door or. Um, Kind of like just the way the stones start to shape before you lose the sight from the light. Uh, there might be a door down that little hallway as well. So um, 50 feet, T intersection. There's two doors 25 feet closer to you. Um, but then starting at the base of the doors, right off the base of the doors, there's this 15 foot, or, or sorry, uh, 20 foot, um, 20 foot by 10 foot passageway that turns into a five foot pa passageway. Uh, with a door towards the on the northern side as the passageway continues uh, far off past your light. So, and sorry. you say two doors. Is it a double door or is it doors no, on opposite uh, sides? Five foot door. Uh, yeah, two five foot doors on opposite sides of the hall of, of the hallway. So one of them should lead up to the room that we've been in. Or am I misunderstanding something? Unless there are different levels, is this is this yes, corridor yeah. slope, sloping sloping downwards? Yeah. No. No. Okay. Let's open the door to the left. Okay. So you want to go in the hallway and yeah, open the one to the left. Sure. Uh, it is a storeroom. Uh, uh, opening up basically like a large closet. Um, as you, as you open it, uh, you see that there's like just old sort of jars, um, that have been kind of like cracked and broken, covered in dust. Maybe there was some kind of like fruits or something like that in there, uh, sacks that are emptied, uh, small little creepy crawlies, um, go into the recesses. Yeah, it's a five by 10 little socket room. And there's some sacks on the floor. Yeah. So can I get get, I get the get get the sacks a prod with my spear? Yeah. They're empty. Dust poofs out of the sack. Oh god. Sweet, sweet. And the jars, the jars just seem to have fruit fruit in them or old fruit desic like They've been cracked open, paper. yeah, like whatever. Was oh, they've been cracked them. open. Yeah, okay. like it there's used to be a, almost like a larder, you know, that's been... Yeah, yeah, um, sure. There's nothing, but there's not, none of them look particularly interesting. No. Okay. You definitely, you definitely see that there were spaces in this uh, larder that were open, like, you know, someone else has been here before. and Because you can see sort of like the uh, spaces where there might have been some more jars. 
Does that make sense? Like the like the way the dust settled that like there's like these round sort of holes where maybe jars used to be. Hmm. Um, is it is it yeah. is it deathly quiet down here? Can we hear the skitter of spiders? No, you definitely hear just, you hear the skitters. You uh, skittering uh, ahead of you um, in that uh, plus sign junction. Uh, you definitely hear skitters coming down. Some echoing from the hallways. Uh, you hear the slight dripping of water. Um. Yeah, I think I think in, there's more to hear if you want to take your uh, uh, take your time and cautiously kind of hear and focus and stuff. So, aka like a turn, um, to get yourself a better sense of what's going on. But otherwise, I'm just kind of giving you as you hear it down here. Okay. Um, there's still the faint of. You would think you escaped that smell of death, but uh, no, nah, there's still there must be more death ahead, or to your you know, or in this door to your right. Is it something. coming out of the backpack or out of the dungeon? Because I still have the ghoul hands on me. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, you're, no, that's a good point. Uh, that just pulling us around terrible. that stench. Yeah, you know, yeah, you're 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 just rocking the standard death stench of about five or six. Yeah, at all times now. So. Okay. Um. But yeah, I mean, Cal so, Calabarus is starting to get very anxious now. He, yeah, maybe, let's maybe you're pressing your luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Luck. There's only so long before the spiders come back, right? And then, and then like, it'd be hard to exit. I feel and like your hiring is uh, got some good stuff. Like starting yeah. to run out of slots. And, uh, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's literally carrying a huge ass leg. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like yeah. not even with a foot. So it's not in like a golf club or anything like that. It's just like a, you know, just a large. Uh, it's like a Probably like nine foot. So maybe let's get uh, out of here and get the treasure to safety. Yes, if we can do no. that, merge back to the surface. I hope you don't get sorted by baboons on the way. Yeah. <laughs> I have a, I have a question about a point of order about carrying this statue. Do you want to stash it with the other arm, or do you want to? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Rather than, rather than carrying it all the way back to the inn, there's no point. It's a um, I would like to do that if, if Maximus is, is, is happy with that and doesn't... I'm very happy with that. Okay, good. Yeah. Can we, can we do that, Eric? Uh, yeah. Let me just make an encounter check to see what's going on. Oh, uh, no. As you are exiting the dungeon. All very anxious. I love... A six. Great. All right. Uh, well, I think I know what this is going to be. Uh... Oh. As you are leaving the dungeon, uh, all happy and, uh, you know, as a clam, ready to go, uh, you hear this loud snorts of woof, 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 as a brown bear uh, face uh, and chest covered in blood uh, in its mouth is a, a limp baboon hand uh, walking by you. Uh, Root and it's it's sniffing around the entrance, uh, you know, <laughs> or like of uh, mm. that that basement. Um, it turns and looks at you, uh, yeah, and is and it 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 sits down, <laughs> like like it's it's not sure what to do with you. Um, it 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 doesn't perceive you as a threat, right? But it's also kind of looking at you to see like what you're gonna do. So it's uh, not necessarily hostile. I would call it suspicious. Is it um? Is it literally at the top of these this this these stairs? No, or no, no. It... You've 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 sorry. Uh, let me let me describe how I see it in my head. You have left uh, the 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 cellar of the cellar, you know where you you left the spot where you found the leg. Um, you're back on the surface from the baboons. You're heading back towards the um, the other ruin where the the basement where the ghouls are, where you're stashing the uh, statuaries, mm. statue parts. And lo and behold, uh, walking down that main street uh, is this. Uh, Huge brown bear, uh, again, gore soaked, eating uh, a baboon. Um, and it's definitely it seen you. us, and it's definitely yeah. snort us. Yeah. It sees you because, yeah, it's, it's root, it was rooting around, rummaging, uh, looking for some more food as it's finishing this baboon because it probably smells baboons around here. Uh, so... and, but instead of baboons, it sees you, and you're, and you know, a bear smart enough to know that you're not a baboon, but it also, you know, is like, what do you? Are we gonna fight? It's kind of like you know. Mm. We don't hey, gonna um, fight. You know, it's just Cala uh -huh. Could Practical. you like tell your hiring person to maybe um, offer this 
gentlemen, some of my rations um, that your hireling is currently stashing for me. That's you a know, good idea. A, bit, a, a little bit dessert. Delga. Now, very carefully, my friend. Maybe throw some of those rations in the direction of the bear. Can you do that for me? Yes, boss. <laughs> and uh, he's got a uh, sh you know, shaky hands uh, go to his pack and the bear's like, mm, like it gets off. It, it stands up as he's like going to the pack and he's looking at you two for guidance. Like, should I proceed? Should I not proceed? You know, uh, and you're, you're, you, you, you urge him. Right. And uh, yeah, he's like grabbing <laughs> them and tosses them like halfway uh, like to the, to the bear and the bear like scoots back being like, what the hell? You know, yeah. I, let's say uh, this is this is relatively um, close range ish, right? Uh, so getting out of here is going to yeah. Um, you throw you throw the the pack of rations. Um, realize it's it's not you're not trying to attack it or anything like that. You just throw out some food and it's you know giving it a good old, good old sniff. Okay. And uh, let's see. I'm just going to get an idea if, if it's interested. It's hella interested. So then I'm going to reroll right. this reaction roll uh, as a consequence for that. I did not mean to do that. Um, so, yeah, um, it begins to eat your rations and seems to be doesn't really care about you. Great. Let's 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 back away slowly. And uh, do you think I could pet this bear? <laughs> <laughs> Maximus, be my guest. <laughs> the retainer I am. If I speed. like very slowly get a bit closer. These rations are going to be gone uh, in a second, so you better, you know. <laughs> yeah, we can we can just get out. Let's go. Yeah. Let's go as fast as you can without starting it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you, you slowly back away as it uh, begins to you know sniff and rummage around the rations. Uh, and then in a second, its its mouth goes over them, and, and they're gone. And it looks up, sees you all like backing away, and it just sits down again, uh, looking around. Great, yeah, we'll we'll, we'll uh, I turn it out of there. Uh, you know, the the roar Lentia. of the bear is like the last thing we'll we'll hear as you guys are f fleeing out of here, um, uh, back towards the broken head. Or sorry, uh, I was gonna. Well, I was gonna. Well, I, was gonna I, see, I was ask a bit of a gamey thing here, but obviously last session. Um, you awarded XP for us getting that um, marble arm back to the Broken Head Inn. Now, if we go and stash the, the leg yeah. in the basement, will we get XP, or are we going to have to do something? Are we going to have to take it back to the inn to get the XP for the for the leg, and then and then take it back to the basement? I don't, I don't know if if you care about that, or is like a way of of doing that so we can get some XP. Yeah. Like, are you uh, are you bothered? Well, yeah. Okay, so if you want the XP, that means mm -hmm. somebody has to carry around this leg at the start of next session, right? And take care of it and stash it the next the following session. Okay, well, I'm I just like that. That's a, that's a fair trade off, I think. Okay, for the game, yeah. So I would like to just go head back to the Broken Head in then, so we can sure. get our two and a half two and a half shares of of everything. And um... I know this this is the best part of a, a small party. Uh... <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, that's grand. I think that's that's very reasonable. Uh, that just means that uh, Delgar is going to start hauling uh, <laughs> the the leg of uh, Arden. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, the leg is as a piece of. Remember the the assessment for the original bit of the marble was the arm was that it was salvageable marble. It's not that it's mm. for the statue. So this is actually twice as much marble. So you're and that looking was at four hundred gold pieces. Right? Yeah, so you're so, looking at eight hundred uh, for the yeah, piece here. This is what I'm thinking. Yeah. Now, that's that's assessed value. That's not money in the bank because you'd have to sell it to get rid of it. Yeah, sure, but in terms of the XP. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's do uh, assessment of the treasure. Right. Mm -hmm. So final goal, so coins on hand was 55 copper, uh, 38 silver, and 10 gold. Um, so that's going to be... How do you do this so fast every, at the end of every nave session, Patrick? You're, you're something else. <laughs> I'm like looking at this being like, okay. Um, 
So I'm, I mean, I have a, like, I make paper notes and I have just a list of treasure and values next to them. All right. I need to start doing that. I'm using Google Docs like an idiot. I mean, if it right. works for you, it works. Everybody gets 22 copper pieces uh, at the start. Yep. Uh, everybody gets, uh, two people get 15, uh, and one person gets, uh, 16 silver pieces. So one of you two gets 16 and one gets 15. Uh, you, you get 16. Okay. I will, I will not refuse the extra coffee. Uh, that's silver. Oh, silver. Sorry. And then uh, 10 gold divided by two and a half shares uh, is four. Mm. four. Four gold a person. Great. So you two get four lot. and uh, um, Delgar gets two. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, Kettle Belly, uh, the in proprietor, will take a look at the gem. Um, he, he's going to like uh examine it and be like hmm this looks like a ruby <clears throat> but it's not it's uh, just an agate look you can uh, see here how, how, how it's the uh did you burn this like he smells it maybe got a little are you trying to get one on me yeah he's like all right you're gonna have to do better than that i look i've assessed many a gem before uh often pilfering them myself uh, you know, laughing, but like, no, nah, this is this is an agate, but it's a really nice quality agate. It's worth about fifty. Oh, oh nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like it's worth. Uh, this is uh, this is a this is a spell. This is a classic Thothian like spell materials, typically about fifty. So, I don't know why uh, spells have a certain quantity of gem uh, econ economy, but so it is. He, he, he jokes. That's the question for the priests. Is it 50 gold or silver? It's gold. Gold. Sweet. Um, so he'll take... He there, there's a fee. From us, really, or... Yeah. Uh, so uh, there's a 10% fee. So you're looking at 45 divided by uh, 2.5. Uh, so that's, that's 18 gold a person. Great. So each of you gets 18. Uh, no, I'm not keeping track of how much gold Delga has. Should I? Uh, yeah, you should be. Okay. Uh, he had two gold. Uh, he gets half of whatever that number I gave you here. So he gets a nine yeah. from this. So he's at 11 so far. Because he can level up, per se. Okay. Well, yeah. he, he's acquiring XP from this as well. Yeah. And he got eight. He would have got eight silver and uh, 11 coppers, wouldn't he? Uh, do you want to get the chalice assessed? Um, uh, yeah, I think so. Great. Yeah, it's uh, it's worth fifty. Uh, as in, like, it's someone will like, one of the merchants here uh, at the inn will buy it for you for exactly for fifty, which means it's probably worth more. But you get um, you get what you can. So that's, yeah, I'll, I'll, that's twenty gold a person. That. Ten for Delgar. Yeah. Ten for Delgar. And then lastly, yeah, assessing the leg. It's uh oh, yeah. it's eight hundred. Well uh, yes. But we're not selling it. Oh. Well, I I, I don't want to sell it anyway. But... It's pure mar like yeah, this basically it's scrap marble is what they're buying from you. Mm. I've 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 Calamados is he's he's getting into this rebuilding the statue idea. So that's, that's what he said to us before the statue broke us before said that it would be more valuable as a complete statue, right? That's Oh yeah. Uh so that, I think that's three hundred and twenty experience a person. For that. Pretty cool. But now nice. Delgar is stuck holding this thing. <laughs> well, we'll sort that out. We'll figure that out next time. <laughs> yeah. Which is tomorrow, right? So so I know, right? Yeah. So we have to wait a day to sort it out. So he's just gotta gotta he... protect it for the evening. So we can't sell the Statue part. Oh, we we it, can, yeah. but I, I, oh, we don't want to sell the statue part. I don't want to. Is that? But I don't know. If maybe 
but we sold the other things, right? I think yeah. yes. Yeah, yeah you liquidated okay. everything else. But uh, no. He thinks the statue can be assembled, so he's keeping it. Yeah, that's why. Makes sense. He's yeah. A, yeah, he's a seer scholar, so he wants to see it renewed. Okay. Um, do we have one for one gold for experience? For one gold for XP. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's OSC. It's OSC style. So yeah, one for one. Okay. Uh, you. It's fighter progression for everybody. All right. Wait. So when you when we said we have three twenty experience, did that include everything that you've just told us? Or... No, no, no. That's the that's the value of the marble. Okay, so it's three twenty XP from the marble, and then uh, the um, rest of your all's rest of it. Yeah. yeah. And okay. how is how is Delga acquiring experience here? Is he is he acquiring experience? Uh, I gotta look up Shadow Dark and how characters level from the funnel. Okay. He's... Um, I I mean off the dome, I'm gonna say he needs a thousand. Okay. He's level one character. It could be five hundred. It might even be even nicer to become a leveled character. But uh, I don't know. I'll I'll have a look at it. Um, he's got he's got twenty one at the moment. So, yeah. <laughs> but it's three hundred seventy one XP. No, he, he should have um, experience for the uh, yeah for last session as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had eighty four from the last session, so I'm currently sitting at four five five XP. Okay, getting somewhere. Right. Yeah, you should have gotten that. eighty from last session for the assessment of the uh, the assaying of the uh, the arm. So he is getting a little up there. No, I, yeah, I, I don't know how the funnel part of uh, like what it takes to get to level. I go, oh, oh yeah. I, I mean, oh. I mean, oh, shit, see. Okay. I, I I found it. Sorry. Um, to gain a level, you need to earn your current level times ten XP. Right, uh, in in Shadow Dark. So I assume then to go to from level zero to level one, you need ten XP. There's like a basically a ten times Shadow Dark's ten XP. So you need about a hundred gold to level to level one. Okay, which he's 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 managed, right? He's done. Yeah. That. So I think he's leveled up. Oh, nice. Well done, Delga. Yeah. Well, if he will continue to work for me, or is he going to go out? So, like he, the hireling yeah. is of a higher level than all players. <laughs> no, he's no, he was level zero. Now he's level one. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. So how, so how does that work, Eric? Is he? Can I? Is he another character for me, or is he still my retainer? Or, uh, n I no, he won't be your retainer anymore. He's gonna ex he's gonna need a full share to come out with you. He's gonna want a full share from now on. Okay? Yeah, because he's a level character now. And does he have to choose? You, are you gonna choose a class and everything for him? Or you should choose the class for him. I think it'll be fun. Okay, I'll have a think about that then. Yeah, have a think about it. Um, I'll give you his stats, his full stat array and stuff as well. You can pick. Yeah, I'll, I'll put it. I'll put together proper. Yeah, if you want. Uh, character sheet for him. And... Yeah. Is it is it cool if you pick it? Uh, the class, like, is that okay? That's okay with me. Yeah, it sounds yeah. great. Cool. I mean, he's a wizard's apprentice, right? So. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, depends so... what his uh, depends what his stats are, I suppose. But. Exactly. Um. His yeah. Okay. I mean, his his best stat is Int, so. It is. Okay, well, it sounds like yeah. he might be a magic user then. But, uh, cool. All right, then. Uh, that's a sp little speedy game today. It's fun. I enjoyed it. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Totally. Uh, you okay, Patrick? Okay, yeah. yeah. Got a bunch of gold out of it and a luck token. And, that's uh, right. Oh, yeah, got a luck token as well, yeah. Uh, what's a... Uh, didn't roll, didn't roll me dice, yeah, it was good. Yeah.